This is a video to show you how to load 120 film into a, a folding camera, an old folding camera. This is a Coronet. My sister found it when she was on a trip to London. Uh, she bought it for me for Christmas. Thought it was a neat little gift. Um, you can see it's got some bellows. It's got the lens on the front. It's got some settings you can adjust. It has shutter speed. It goes from bulb to one one hundredth of a second and the aperture goes from 7.7 .7 to 32. Um, it's got the shutter release right here, uh, right there. And then you can fold the front closed, put that down. And on the back, every camera's a little bit different, so you'll have to look at your camera. That's how you open up the back. And then you can see if I were to open up the front, that pops out, I guess you can see that. And uh, that's where your film goes across here on the plane. Take the picture, exposes it, you know all that stuff. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this is because I couldn't find any videos online on how to load film into a folding camera like this. Uh, it was my first time trying medium format film. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I have got some 120 film right here. It's black and white, it's cheap film I got. Uh, I think I got it at B and H. Um, I'm gonna try to develop it at home. See how this turns out. I've never tried this kind of film before. Anyway, it comes in a little package like this. Um, let me open the camera back up. And what you want to make sure is that you have a spool already in the camera uh, because this is your take-up spool. Let's see if I can get it out. There you go. This is your take-up spool um, that the film start on this side and then it rolls across this side, gets picked up on this, and then this is what you'll either take to go get it developed or you'll get it developed yourself. And then there will be another roll on this side that was originally in this package when you're done. And all you'll do is you'll switch it back over to this side. So let me pop that back in there and open this up. The scissors right here. Okay, so this is what you have when you first open up a medium format roll of film. Uh, there's tape that goes across here, and there's a paper backing. The paper backing on 120 film is on the back side of the entire roll of film. You can probably do a Google search and figure out what I'm talking about, so I won't get into too much detail. And what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap the tape. Let's see. There we go. Sort of. There, just like that. Um, try to take this all off. And you want to make sure that you keep your fingers pretty tightly on this because you don't want it to unravel and expose your roll of film. And then you're gonna take it, you're gonna pop it on the open side of your camera. Let's see if I can get it in here. Of course not. Well, top side first. I don't know if you can see that. Pop it in the bottom. Okay, make sure it gets all lined up. I'm having a hard time on the top here, as you can see. Uh, twist this, there we go. Maybe, there, popped into place. And then you'll start to pull it across here. Man. Okay, so I had it on the wrong side. <laughs> I was, it's supposed to start on this side. This is your take-up side over here. This is my winders on the top. So I have to switch this, my take-up spool. Bam, there we go, over to this side. 
Make sure I'm all lined up. Good, good, good. Everything turns, perfect. And then I will start the roll of film over on this side of the camera. Oh yeah, that was a lot easier. And I will bring it, let's see if you guys, bring it across here. Make sure you keep some tension right here. And on this take-up spool, I can show you real fast, there's a wide slit right there, and then on the other side, actually, let's see. It's the same size on both. I've seen some spools where it's wider on one side than the other side, so you know which side to put it in. I guess it really doesn't matter. So let's just go ahead and you just stick your paper into the slit. TWSS. And once you get in there, you just start to wind it. You feel it kind of grab, make sure it's going right onto that spool. There you go. You keep winding it until you should see there, there's an arrow. There's some sort of indication there. And you get it to the front side of your frame. And then you go ahead and close the backing. Hopefully that's been in frame this whole time. And there's a little view window here. I have it covered up with gaffer's tape. So I won't get any light leaks. But there's a little hole right there. And I keep winding until I see a number one. Depending on the size of your uh, exposed frame, your hole will be on different parts of the camera. This one's a fairly wide frame, so I'm gonna get eight exposures on this roll of film. So I keep winding it, there's some dots. This is what really confused me when I first started, because I wasn't sure. I think I started it, when I saw a dot, I thought, oh, maybe that's where I'm supposed to start. But then I got a double exposure the frame so I realize I need to keep winding it until I see there's a couple arrows there's some more dots the dots are getting smaller and now there's a number one so I'm on the first frame so it's ready to take a picture and all I have to do is open it up figure out my settings and then uh, press my shutter release take a picture and I make it a habit of right after I take a picture, uh, winding my spool till I get to the next number immediately after taking the picture so I don't accidentally get a double exposure. And then when it's done, you uh, wind it all up. There's another tape on the inside of the piece of paper and you tape around your spool and then you go get it developed or develop it yourself, whatever you want to do. There you go.